When platforms like ChatGPT and Claude first launched, people were giving terrible advice. They were telling you to do your keyword research, do your SEO analysis, do all sorts of marketing tricks using these platforms. But there was a massive problem because they didn't have access to the right data. They didn't have any access to the keyword data, the domain analysis that proper SEO tools had until today. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn Claude into your own personal SEO assistant with real world SEO and marketing data. I'm going to show you step by step how you can set this up for yourself. And although it looks technical, it's really easy. And then you can start using it in the way we're going to get onto in this video, including doing your data analysis, competitor research, creating real life SEO dashboards, all without the help of tools like SEMrush or Hrefs that we're so used to using. Now you're going to need to download the desktop version of Claude to actually make this run because we need to tweak a few settings in there. And as we go along here in these I think there's only about three steps we need to go through. All the links for everything you need are down in the description as well. So the first thing you want to do is download and install Claude Desktop. You're also going to want to download something called Node.js. You just need to download and install this and then leave it to run. And then the only other thing you're going to need is to sign up for a data for SEO account, which you can get started for free, actually. This is going to give you all the data and include it in Claude to get you up and running. Now, once you've downloaded Claude, we then need to start tweaking some of the settings to link to your data SEO account. So here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go to Claude at the top here and you're going to hit settings. Now, when you open settings, you'll see this developer tab here. You want to go to developer and it will probably be empty for you. You won't have this data for SEO link here, but when you get in here, you want to hit the edit config button. And this is going to open up this folder on your desktop with this JSON file already loaded and ready to go. Now you're going to want to open this up. Now in this file, we need to add this little bit of code to make the MCP the, and the APIs between data SEO and Claude actually interact and work properly. Again, I've included all of this in the description for you. So you have everything you need. Now in here, I've got the username and password, which is the only thing you need to edit in this file and or this bit of code which you're putting into this file. I've got example user example password in there because I don't want to show you mine because that was security breaches and things. But you just need to get your API password and stuff from data SEO and put it in here and then save this file. Then you're all ready to go. That's literally it to actually set this up and get things running. Now, there's a couple of other little tweaks we can do as well, but you want to restart Claude. So you want to close Claude and then restart it to make sure that your file updates and your MCP updates are actually working. And you'll see that here, if you click the little settings, you'll see data for SEO is now connected to Claude. So we're basically ready to go. You'll see that it has, what was that number there? 58 different integrations. There's 58 different types of integrations and APIs that you can call, including keyword data for Google ads, for SEO, for Google trends, on-page content. You can see we've got backlinks, we've got backlink analysis, backlink anchors, spam scores, everything you'd expect of a high quality SEO tool. Now there's one little final setting I want to change. And if we go back up to settings here and you want to go and hit configure. Now, when we hit configure, it's going to bring up another window and we just need to tweak something in the integrations down the bottom here. When we hit integrations, it will then bring up our data for SEO local here as an integration that's being allowed for Claude. We want to hit these three little dots and just hit tools and settings. And we want to change all of the settings in these API links to from, they'll be all set to always ask permission. We want to allow unsupervised. Otherwise, every time you call it, it's going to have a pop-up and say, do you want to call it? We want it to run smoothly, so we don't want it to do any of that. And that's literally it. Now we should be ready to start using this. So I've got a couple of prompts that we're going to test out and see how we run. The first one's going to actually build us a competitive SEO analysis and dashboard. So we can pop that prompt into Claude, and we just need to tweak it a little bit because obviously we need to give it our domain and what we and, and just point it in the right directions. So we need to add a domain in here as well and just give it some context about what we want to search for. So actually just pick this random domain, this random uh, accountants that we're going to use for this process. And we're going to pop their domain in there. And once we've got all the information in there, we'll just run the prompt and we'll see what the results are. And now you can see it started its comprehensive SEO competitive analysis and uh, it's pulling the APIs and getting all the information it needs to start 
building its dashboard of our competitor analysis within Claude. Okay, and it's finished building us our dashboard. And this is actually better than I could have thought because it's given us on the left here, it's given us an executive summary of the findings of just an overall report of like major opportunities, strategic recommendations. So it can also help us build out our strategy as we go. And on the right here, it's actually built us a dashboard. I didn't even ask it to, to build a dashboard directly maybe or no i did in the original prompt i said build us a dashboard and you can see it's got our overall sort of information of our average average positions traffic value of all of our traffic our monthly traffic ranking keywords how many top competitors we have and then built this really cool little dashboard here personalized to us so we could tweak this however we want and see the data that we want including current positions and how we how our keywords fan out in terms of top 10 top 3 50 plus we've got our top performing keywords hotel accountants being their top performing keywords we've also then got what's this competitor analysis i mean you could go you can build these and, and go through them for yourselves you can see the competitor strengths versus our advantages here we've got keywords you can see the keyword gaps that should should maybe look at this website addressing and some opportunities that was my next question what are the big opportunities here it's spotted accountant for limited company so it's given us our highest impact opportunities and some quick wins so it's really talking about hospitality content that we were ranking well for already and we need to expand on for the best sort of quick wins because we already rank well for that and it's even given us a oh this is so cool man this is this is awesome it's given us a an action plan as well of like the different type of content we should be creating and the different sort of topical hubs we need to be addressing and in what order and the potential value and the impact they might have on our business. So I wonder actually, because now the cool thing is we have this information, we can actually chat with Claude to go further. So you could say, do you remember we had um, expand hospitality content? So I could say like... Um, so this is a quick win highlighted. Can you research and build a topical authority content cluster? So we are leaders in the, what would I call this industry? Like uh, hospitality, hospitality accounting sector. And so we could say like, send that off to be like, I love that what you come back with. Now go and do some more research on this particular sector as well. And boom, it's got those keyword ideas and then started researching and then built out our hospitality accounting top authority content map based on web searches and duty using data for SEO information. So you can see actually now, previously when you do this sort of stuff, it would either not have its data or it would just hallucinate or make things up and tell you things were low competition when actually they weren't. Now we've actually got it backed by data and research in that area. So you can see restaurant accountants, pubs accountants, which strong competitor rankings are available and it goes down and then builds out the main landing pages. Then we've got actual supporting content clusters. So it even goes and then says, actually, it might be worth targeting these by particular location, not just doing it as you're an expert pub accountants, but pub accountants for London. You know, this needs a bit of tweaking as well and just getting getting right. But then it's got the problem solution content, the blog content to support it in terms of talking about cash flow, cost accounting, hotel revenue man management accounting, VAT guides, all this sort of stuff all brought in to, to build. Like it goes on and on. This is awesome. And then it's even got the technical internal linking structure, the schema markup strategy. So we've kind of we could get a lot of this already, but now we've got it off more concrete information, which is pretty cool and even has some sort of resource requirements, everything in there to build a really useful sort of one page document of what you can do and how you can attack this next part of your SEO strategy. Now, what's cool as well is, do you remember we had this dashboard a second ago that was actually clickable and usable? You can actually publish this to the web. Um, so that you could send this to clients or publish this elsewhere, even if it was for case studies as well, you could publish that in there and actually make this available and make this usable. This is a pretty cool thing to be able to send to a client as they have done some competitor analysis rather than just sending them a PDF. You can actually give them a nice clickable dashboard that's much more en engaging than them just having to like scroll through a document and read through all read through all of it to try to understand what you're talking about. You've got everything sort of nicely laid out for them here. So. 
yeah, this is really cool. And I urge you to start playing around with this and trying it out for yourself because I think there's some really, really interesting use cases or ways you can work more efficiently or do your SEO research in a more conversational way rather than trying to come up with all the ideas yourself and go forth and back and forth between AI and some pretty expensive SEO tools.